Hey everyone. So I'm going to have some new things in my Etsy shop. Currently I was hoping to bring you a couple, three actually, journals and some things that I was working on. You know, ephemera holders, different things. Well, I have this. And I'm going to show this first for the people that are watching the video from the Etsy shop. I always like to make a video. I think it shows the journal better. But um, if you're interested in the other journal that I would love to have some ideas about, I would appreciate it. it it's, and it will be at the end of this video, along with some things like this that I'm hoping to put in my Etsy shop. So this journal is the Accordion Bound Journal. There's the back and the front. And the front is a picture frame. I've lined it with tea dyed doily. It has some die cuts or some cutouts. It has a writing spot here. And a tag here that I just put the tag in for something to look at. And I was thinking, you know, whoever got it might want to put a picture there. But this is just a, a nice writing spot. Okay, and the first page, I have the tea dye doily on the front and back covers for pockets. I have the letter from the bookmaker. This book belongs to Tag with some black lace as the topper. I have two file folders in here that I've actually made from file folders. There's a little bit of distress tape on this one. And in each, I have filled them with ephemera that came with this scrapbook pack, scrapbook paper pack. So everything that came with this pack is in the in the book or in this. I, I everything that came with it you're gonna get. I I didn't keep anything unless it was a mistake. So on the first page, there's a pull out. And it says do not open until Christmas on the little charm. And inside there are more of the tags and writing spots that came with the journal kit. Well, I say it's a journal kit. It's a scrapbook kit. I don't know. Actually, that's not on the first page. Look at that. I've already gone this up. There's nothing on the first page. This pocket went in here. Or this went in this pocket. I'm already having trouble speaking. Next page, they're just beautiful, beautiful scrapbook paper. I love this. This one has the three pockets. First one has the tag. Second one doesn't have anything in it. It's empty. But you know what? I have the perfect thing to put in there. And of course, I can't locate it, but it is going to have something in this pocket. And then we have the notepad. Has the little sticker on there, grungy notepad, Santa Claus, and this pocket I've made upcycled photo album pages. So there are spots for pictures in the front and the back of both of these. So there's four spots. The toppers are collage book page that have been. Smudged with inks, that slides down into the second pocket. And then a little postcard clipped on. And a little guest check that I've stamped. And it's all fun and games till Santa checks the naughty list. Put a little die cut on there. These papers are so pretty. Another little postcard. Two extra pockets in this here. 
this part and there are tags and writing spots and this one is a writing spot that I backed with tea dyed paper there are two waterfall notepads and this next one made from file folders and tea dyed calculator tape this paper is so pretty this is probably my favorite paper more scrapbook i've stamped merry christmas on this and this one is a writing spot and it has two these are not brads they are stickers and the reason I put that on the side was because that is how it's going in. So both of the little stickers are facing like for it to set horizontal. And that is the inside. More writing. And I put in a Coca-Cola playing card. This pocket has... One of the pieces of scrapbook paper, and I used a lot of these. I cut a lot of these out, and uh, actually, that's some of the stuff that's glued on the front and on the front writing spot. But again, the back looks like this more tickets and tags, or writing and tags. And these were some stickers that came with it. And I did like die cut stickers. And I did put those along there. It says Mary. Love this. This is also one of the little stickers. And this pocket is the large waterfall. Pad. And it has a couple of little. Charms, one of the crafted by Christy and ice skating. There's some little sparklies that came off and kind of stuck to the page. So, warning, there may be sparklies in this one. Lots more of the writing spots. Here's the little sticker that came with it. And this pocket are all the stickers that came with it that I didn't actually put inside. This is like an acetate file folder, so I just stuck them to it, and you can peel them right off. I always use glue with my stickers anyway, so I didn't figure, you know, it was going to hurt the adhesive at all. And then I added some washi tape, and there's the rest of the stickers. And again, these will peel off. They're pretty sticky, so I would be a little careful peeling them off. Don't jerk it off it might tear but I don't think so I haven't had any issues trying to get them back up so that's a fun little thing and then after you took the stickers off you could use that like as a dashboard or put post-it notes so many fun things you could put on that more of the cutouts oh and there are two pockets here one and those were from some of the strips that came at the bottom of the pages. And at the back, I've put another one of the picture frames. I did look, and it will fit horizontal on a page if you wanted to put your pictures in there. Glue that down. Here are a lot of the scraps. This is also sticker. Uh, these are scraps. These are the bottom of the papers, but I thought they were really cute and would make good embellishments. Here's some more tags, and I hadn't cut those out yet. And another one of those papers. All the pieces that can be cut out. And those things will just sit in the back pocket. So that is the journal. Just know it is an accordion journal. Your pages are bound in differently. You can see each page. It will lay flat. And there it is. It's beautiful. 
And then this will also come with it. And like I said, this is just a little envelope that I've made. I've laminated some red lace. It has a little snap enclosure. Just sewed around. It's rough sewed. And a little black ruffle. And I have put in all the bits and pieces that came with this. Um, all of the wa matching washi tape, more of the cutouts. Um, this was the little film strip cluster that I had made on a previous video. I included that. In this bag, there's a lot of the off cuts and the little strips that they're at the bottom of the pages. I thought they were really cool. They had things like this with the numbers that would make cool embellishments. And then some of the things like that, the little parcel, I've kind of smushed them in distress inks. Made a little ruffle, page ruffle. Lots of these things that were at bottom of pages. I also put in things like this. This is the name of the paper pack, Tis the Season. And I actually fussy cut this on something and used it. So I included all of those. There's die cuts in here. There's the little, you know, little strips that I used. Some more of the little tags that glue on. I included a little stamped piece of muslin. It says grateful with a rusty safety pin. Just all the goodies I didn't use. This is also a sticker. So there's some more stickers in here. Whatever I didn't use in the book is inside of this envelope. So that you're getting all... All of the goodness that came with it. And like I said, I love the matching washi tape. Isn't it pretty? And there's a lot of little die cuts. More little tags. More die cuts. And hopefully by the time this video goes up, these will be this will be listed in my Etsy shop. And then I will have all the dimensions and the page count and all of that in the description. So that is the journal that will be listed. These are laminated napkins, and I've made little pouches out of them, and I have a video where I laminate the napkin, and then you can separate it after it's laminated, and you end up with the white ply. The white ply I printed on, so these are digitals. This one I've just, I put three little holes Sewed around it, did a little cut right there, put my string up through it, and then tied a bow. And I thought it looked so cute. And they make great pouches for gifts, ephemera. The only thing I'm not sure about is these snaps. Because um, they're very, very tight, and I don't want them to end up tearing this. But so far... I haven't had any trouble with them. I just worry about it. So, again, I I haven't listed these. I'm not even sure I'm going to. I, I just kind of would like your feedback on them. And then I put a little, some charms here and whatnot. These could all be different. They'll, you know, they'll probably be different sizes. This one has some washi tape. And nice big inside. This one I just done an eyelet and wrapped some twine around. This would make a great one for a gift card. And this is a pretty good size. I mean, I, whether you used it for Christmas or in crafting or whatever. Let me, let me know what you think about these. Is this something you would like to see in the shop or you don't really care or, you know, whatever. Ooh, look, I left my grateful out. I got to get that back in the bag. And then I need some help. I went to make another one of these accordion journals. 
all was wonderful. Things were going great. And then I messed up. I had this big idea that I was going to do like a accordion three or what is it? Accordion 2.0. You know, so what I did was see these tassels and fibers. I put little eyelets in here and strung these on. Now I did that before, of course, when it was still in the accordion and I hadn't put my papers on. I hadn't glued it together. That all worked great. Real proud of myself. That, that was wonderful. Okay, what I didn't realize was I knew that it would leave a little bit, you know, because of my eyelet, I couldn't go all the way back. However, I had put like one eyelet here, one here. You have to at least put two on the same tab for your paper to set straight. So I did that. I fixed that all was well. Then I, I didn't realize there would be such a gap. You know, I don't, I don't think I like that. And I've prayed about it. I've debated about it. How am I going to fix the gap? The reason there is gap, not only because you can't set your paper all the way down to the edge, like you would on a normal accordion, because I put the eyelets there. But, you know, being brilliant like I am, I outsmarted myself and I got in such fears that instead of gluing the two papers to the hinge, like this one, like this has the pocket, these lay flat, here's my hinge, okay, and there's your pocket. Well, I glued this straight over to the side, so I no longer could add another piece. So I had to make that piece the pockets. I didn't have to, but I didn't like that hinge there. So, this one doesn't have as many papers because I couldn't do the center, I didn't do the center pockets because I, I messed up. See, and it has a really big gap. I, I don't know, I don't. I thought about maybe binding something like, you know, a pamphlet stitch binding it in these spots, like maybe a little mini journal or some, another signature. That was one of the thoughts that crossed my mind. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to fix what I don't like. And I don't want to waste this paper because it's beautiful. I love this paper pack. And I messed up. So I thought if I could show it to you, maybe someone would have a great idea as to what to do here. And I know that if I put a signature here, I'm going to need to reinforce this. You know, I just, it, it's only a single layer of cardstock. So I feel like I would need to reinforce that. Another pocket. Isn't this cool paper? I really, really love this paper. Love it. And then what I done. Oh, there's so much more. Okay. Another pocket. is and I think that's the end of it yeah then I made these as my covers and this is cards you know like uh, packaging that I've embossed and glued old book page to so this one has snowflakes and I painted a little bit Put a little ruffle on the outside because I glued the hinge on the outside of this one so it would set a little closer. On the front one, I really couldn't do that. I couldn't, I didn't like it on the outside because I had created all of this. This, what I thought looked like snow and I, I don't know what it is. It's got eyelash trim and some strings that's not included. Little snowballs and I did some painting and embossing on this one. So I glued the hinge to it on the inside. And I don't think I like that. But you can see that the snowmen are embossed. Aren't they cute? And so I figure I'll put a pocket here. But on the outside, I decided to make two eyelets. And just I just put a ribbon there for looks, I guess. Really no other reason. 
and then it has all these fibers and I really like it and I'm thinking you know toying around with some things like how to make it look better I thought maybe I would you know put on some corner caps I don't know what do you think about the corner caps Does it need corner caps? Do you like that look? And of course I would put them on the back page. But my main thing is, is this, you know, what would you do with this? It's so close to Christmas. And I don't know, I feel like I'm wasting my time with it at this point. Is it worth saving? What should I do with this front? I mean, what would you do? Throw, I mean, would you be like, Okay, sis, you just need to trash it. I hate to waste. I'll, you know, no matter what I do, I've got to figure out a way to save this scrapbook paper because it, because it's beautiful. Um, I just, I don't know what to do about this, and I'm asking for your help. If you could give me some suggestions, I would love it. So, that's my thoughts on this journal. If you could help me figure out what to do with it, and is it, you know. Not so, I don't know what to do with it. I need help. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. And I hope you like these things. If you could let me know what you think about these envelopes. Are they too thin? Should I do a double layer? You know, and not try to separate the napkin. Make them a little thicker. Where this doesn't make me so nervous. See, it's tight. Which is weird. Because on this one, it's tight. On this one, it's not. And I bet you, now that I've done this, it's because I don't have that pushed down good. So I'll fix that. Because see this one? It it snaps open, no problem. I, that one doesn't bother me. I know it, I don't, it's not going to tear. But I bet you that's what is the deal with this one. I don't have that little center thing pushed down good enough. So it's not snapping like it should. And I will fix that. That makes me happy. It might be fixable. And I really like this. I love this print. Isn't it pretty? I think this is a free digital too. I can't remember where I got it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. I promise next time will be a little more exciting. <laughs> thanks guys. Bye.